Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Moments after Fox's Charles Krauthammer passes, the unthinkable happens to him and his family. It was with great sadness that conservative intellectual giant, Pulitzer Prize winner and Harvard-educated psychiatrist Charles Krauthammer passed away at the age of 68 on Thursday. He was brilliant and firmly believed in what he said and wrote. There are very few out there like him and he will be sorely missed. Krauthammer's passing was not unexpected. On June 8, he wrote a letter in the form of a column announcing that the cancer he had thought was in total remission, had returned with a vengeance and his fight was over. He had only a couple of weeks to live. He said he loved his life and had no regrets. He lived it the way he intended to and he left this mortal coil on his own terms, I have been uncharacteristically silent these past ten months. I had thought that silence would soon be coming to an end, but I'm afraid I must tell you now that fate has decided on a different course for me. Recent tests have revealed that the cancer has returned. There was no sign of it as recently as a month ago, which means it is aggressive and spreading rapidly. My doctors tell me their best estimate is that I have only a few weeks left to live. This is the final verdict. My fight is over. The letter continued, I leave this life with no regrets. It was a wonderful life, full and complete with the great loves and great endeavors that make it worth living. Following the news of the death of his good friend, Brett Beyer posted on Twitter, I am sure you will be owning the panel discussion in heaven as well. And we'll make sure your wise words and thoughts, your legacy, will live on here. Britt Hume, senior political analyst on Fox News, also tweeted about the terribly sad news. The great Charles Krauthammer has died, he said fighting back tears. Krauthammer was a highly respected contributor on Fox News for years. In recent years, Krauthammer was best known for his nightly appearance as a panelist on Fox News Special Report with Brett Beyer and as a commentator on various Fox News shows. He has been absent for the last year in his battle with the cancer that would eventually take his life. He was a cultured and honest man, whose sources were highly credible and researched. He delivered his political analysis in a calm, considered cadence. Krauthammer said in 1990, after the fall of the Berlin Wall, that the post-Cold War world had gone from bipolar to unipolar, with the United States as the sole superpower. He also coined the term the Reagan Doctrine, among others. Krauthammer fearlessly called it as he saw it and took on both sides. You have to respect that. His family at Fox News is devastated over his passing, we are deeply saddened by the loss of our colleague and friend, Charles Krauthammer, Fox News CEO Suzanne Scott said in a statement. A gifted doctor and brilliant political commentator, Charles was a guiding voice throughout his time with Fox News and we were incredibly fortunate to showcase his extraordinary talent on our programs. He was an inspiration to all of us and will be greatly missed. Our thoughts and prayers are with his beloved wife Robin and his son Daniel. Krauthammer was a renaissance man, who achieved mastery in such disparate fields as psychiatry, speechwriting, print journalism and television. Via Fox News, he won the Edwin Dunlop Prize for Excellence in Psychiatric Research and Clinical Medicine. Journalism honors included the Pulitzer Prize for Commentary for his Washington Post columns in 1987 and the National Magazine Award for his work at the New Republic in 1984. His book. Things That Matter, Three Decades of Passions, Pastimes, and Politics, instantly became a New York Times bestseller, remaining in the number one slot for 10 weeks, and on the coveted list for nearly 40. The Washington Post took the passing of Charles Krauthammer as an opportunity to get in cheap shots against the man. Particularly, the Washington Post's Adam Bernstein attacked Krauthammer in his obituary, appearing to blame him for the Iraq War in the opening line of his send-off, Charles Krauthammer. A Pulitzer Prize-winning Washington Post columnist and intellectual provocateur who championed the muscular foreign policy of neoconservatism that helped lay the ideological groundwork for the 2003 U.S.-led invasion of Iraq, died June 21 at 68. That is just reprehensible. Krauthammer was not a provocateur and to lay the blame for the Iraq war at his feet as he's laid to rest is just obscene. Shame on them. To do this to Krauthammer, as well as his grieving family, is just unthinkable and it happened just moments after his passing. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.